Welcome to Ignite, where we're starting the week off right. This is the official podcast of Blackman High School, and I'm Justin Smith, the principal at Blackman. This podcast is designed as a source of announcements for parents and students. These are the announcements for the week of August 28th through September 1st. Parents, celebrating is one of our favorite things to do at Blackman. So often we have plenty to celebrate. Usually it involves individual or team achievements um, of one of our academic clubs or career technical groups or one of our athletic teams. However, today our celebration involves school-wide academic success. We've known some good news for the last couple of weeks, but we were unable to share it fully with the public. That being said, we are now able to share with you that Blackman High School has been recognized as a level five school in terms of growth for last school year give you a little background, student TCAP outcomes are measured in two ways, achievement and growth. One way to understand the difference in these measurements is to think about how your student's height is measured when you take them to the doctor. Achievement is just a way to say, wow, your kid's really tall, right? Their typical standard uh, average height, and, and your kid reached it, exceeded it, or maybe below it. However, that doesn't tell the whole story, right? growth matters. What if my kid has been historically tall, but then his or her growth begins to slow a little bit? That might indicate something. Or what if my kid has been historically shorter than his peers, but then he or she begins to demonstrate growth at a higher rate than others? That also might be valuable information. In academic terms, we want to measure a student's achievement. Do they meet the standard of proficiency? But we also want to measure their growth. What patterns of improvement are we seeing year to year? At Blackman High School, we believe firmly that all students can learn and can grow. Those whose achievement is traditionally high or tall, using our example, they need to be pushed. We don't want to see them tail off in their growth. At the same time, if a student has traditionally been low achieving in terms of academic performance, that student should also be growing. That growth should be tracked and celebrated. If you can imagine, it's an incredibly challenging thing as a teacher to understand the variety of learners in your classroom and to teach them in such a way that students not only achieve at high levels, but they also grow at high levels. So when we get our data back and learn that we're a level five school in terms of growth, that's an incredibly big deal. It says so much about our teachers and it says so much about our students. We also, we weren't just a level five in our school-wide composite, we were also a level five in literacy, numeracy, and in science. I'm so proud of our teachers, of their tireless efforts from last year, but I'm also proud of our students. You'll always hear me balance that test scores, recognition like this, they're, they're only one snapshot of a student's learning. It captures one moment in time. It never tells the full story. However, it does give us some indications of where students are in their preparation for success after high school. In the big picture, what this data tells us is really, really good news. Thank you, parents, for investing in your students' academic work, for checking on their homework, for holding them accountable for good study habits and academic integrity. You're an integral part of all the things that happen here at Blackman and in your student success. So when we celebrate, we celebrate you as well. Now, parents, a couple things for your calendar, just a few reminders. Remember that next Monday, September the 4th, is Labor Day. We will not have school on September the 4th. Progress reports will come out on September the 7th. Also, don't forget that on September the 11th, that is a teacher in-service day, and there is no school for students on September the 11th. One additional reminder, we've continued to talk about this, but we want to keep it in front of you. Parents, if you feel that you, um, your family may qualify for free and reduced lunch uh, or breakfasts, the application is online. We'd encourage you to fill that out. There is a paper copy, but the online version gets approved much faster and is much more convenient for families. So if you think that might apply to you, we would encourage you to complete that online. And now some announcements for students. Students, Blaze Buddies applications are online now. Be sure to join the Remind, the Blaze Blaze Buddies Barbie themed mixer will be after school on Thursday, August 31st. Come check out what Blaze Buddies is all about. Dante's Snack Shack is now open. Snacks, health and beauty items, school supplies, etc. Please stop by during your lunch to see what's available. The Spanish Club will have an interest meeting on Wednesday, August 23rd after school in F2. And the first official meeting will be on Wednesday, August 30th. If you are interested in joining the Blaze Bowling team, tryouts will be on August 29th at Lanes, Trains, and Automobiles beginning at 4.30. You must have your final forms account completed by August 31st to practice after the tryouts. Please reach out to Mr. Picklesheimer if you have any additional questions. There will be a speech and debate team interest meeting on Monday, August 28th. That's today at at 3.30 in room D8. There will be donuts for all who attend. The Lady Blaze soccer team had a one to nothing win against Smyrna for their regular season home game. 
proud of that team. Way to go, girls. Go Blaze. The Criminal Justice Club and the Mock Trial Team will hold their first meeting on Tuesday, August 29th at 7.45 in room D7. If you are currently a member or if you would like to join, please report to D7 on Tuesday at 7.45. The Spanish Club will have a meeting on Wednesday, August the 3rd at 3.40 to 4.15 in room F2. Finally, students, if you'd like to help make your school and community a better place and would like to have an active role in planning fun activities, Student Council is holding an interest meeting during Impact on September the 1st or September the 6th. Any students wanting to join Student Council are required to attend only one of these meetings on the 1st or 6th. Please come by Mr. Breed's room, room G1, to pick up an Impact Pass. That's all of our announcements for this week. Thank you, students and parents, for all you do to make Blackman a special place. We hope that you have a great week. And as always, go Blaze.